All right, welcome everybody. Jose J. Garcia with Garcia Mahomes University here. So let's do deals calls every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Um, set your calendars. At one point, we talk about changing it. It is not going to be changed. We're going to keep it for every Tuesday at 7 p.m. So join in. And like I said, if you have deals to present, you can send me a message prior to or just bring it on here on the call. Towards the end, I'll let you present as well. Um, let me see here. I'll share my screen here in a second. A couple of announcements first, though. All the deals that we present on here are located inside mobile home parks unless stated otherwise. Now, the thing about our deals that we present is the park owners, park managers, they understand our concept. So therefore, yes, uh, subleasing is allowed in the park. Investor friendly. Of course, they like that. And a lot of you, a lot of you on here are our students. So, of course, you're welcome. Every deal checks out. Every deal that you see on here, I have checked out myself. I've been to the park. So we've seen these homes inside and out. Um, if you're looking, if you're interested in any of these deals, but you still need a little bit of guidance, that sort of thing, we do coaching as well. So you can pick a deal and then hire us to be your mentor, your coach, and we can walk you through. So a lot of options there, but won't make too, too much into this into coaching. That's not what this call, that's Sunday. So we'll talk a little bit more on that. All right. Slow me down at any point. Stop me if you want to look at a deal, but tell me when I am sharing the screen. Good. Okay. Now this spreadsheet here does get sent to all of you. So if, if I have y'all's email, if I don't have your email, you're not getting this, make sure you send it to me so we can make you part of that list that goes for reminders, that goes for any live events, any coachings, etc. So I want to make sure that you're getting this as part of the recap. And you can sit there and look at these deals. Some of these are mine, of course, that I put together just to show y'all my numbers and what it looks like. Okay. So that's the first two, but we'll get started. And I'm going to go through the whole spreadsheet here a little quickly um, because I am going to, um, somebody's trying to send me a message. I'll get to it. Uh, I want to present them all. We moved a lot of these things here. Um, a lot of the deals just kind of make them organize a little bit better. So I'm going to go through them. But the first two, like I said, are deals of ours. Still have the Ackworth, Georgia. If any of you are interested in this one here, it's a three bedroom, two bath. Uh, we may have potential in this partnership that I offered last week which is basically anybody wants to do one of these deals. Um, y'all put the funds, the money, I'll walk y'all through, do all the sweat equity, coach you in the process, and then we get it out there, sell it, and split the difference. So split it, 50-50 is what it was. And this one here got up a lot of attention. So we're waiting on this here for a couple investors, and we'll see. But if anybody's still interested, that option is still available at this time. Next deal that we have, uh, this one's pending, definitely. Move on to the next one. This one's located in Warner Robins. It is the mobile home park. The lot rent in this park is 300 even. That includes water. The home is being sold for 2,500. Rent the rates we put on here for you, 650 to 675 an area. If you were to rehab, fix it up, turn around and sell it, you can get in the market a loss for about 18 to 20. If you finance through an RTO, note that sort of thing, you're now the bank quotations, then you can you know tack on a little bit more plus interest. So keep that in mind. Dublin's up. This is the same park that we've been um, doing. We've had quite a bit on there. Quite a bit of investors have taken the other ones. I think 10 have gone out of that park on the, these specific ones. So this one here is a two bedroom, one bath, single wide, older unit. Um, home is being sold for two, 2000 Rental rates in the area, about six to 675 Resale, similar to 18 to 20K. Uh, you do not have to pay lot rent into August. That's actually now an additional month. So you get a break on that. That, that's a plus for you. Same park, another one, 2,500 for this one, two bedroom, one bath. And you can see the pictures here. Like I said, you get the spreadsheet. So you can take a little bit more time and just kind of dissect these and see what you think. You can always email me, ask me what I think it's going to take to, you know, rehab more home. I try to help you as much as I can. But home is like this. I mean, you can look at it and basically tell this is a cleanup and a touch up. There's not a whole lot of things going on on here. Uh, one of the major things in a mobile home, of course, is having to repair the entire plumbing underneath the home and electric. That checks out. And if I go out and check some of these properties and I see that excessive of electric or plumbing, it's probably not, not going to end up on the sheet anyway. Okay, let's keep going. Next one, uh, 513. This is actually a double white, also in Dublin. It's three bedroom, two bath. Uh, home is being sold for $25.50. Yes, these prices are slight negotiable. Understand that we put them as low already to make them as investor friendly is what I call. They're very, I mean, the ROIs are there. So if you do the whole deal structure, your numbers are going to look very good. Um, so keep that in mind, you know, negotiable wise, if you come in and you get more than one unit, we've had some investors, we had one that took five in Dublin. So, you know, that would, that would call for a discount at any point, but um, 
675 to 725 rental rate. If you were to resell 20 to 25K, there's a range in that in between. Just depends on what kind of rehab you do. And again, add an extra month to that. Free lot rent. Next one, uh, we're in Macon now, Macon, Georgia. Two bedroom, one bath. Lot rent here is 300. Also includes water, like I said. On the other one, home is being sold for 2,500. Rent the rates in this area, similar to six to 650. 18 to 20 resale. Some of the pictures here, a lot of cleanup, a lot of touch up. You know, when you're looking inside of a mobile home, always remember, you know, pictures can tell a lot of things. You need to walk each and every property and you are allowed to, by the way, for those of you that are new, if you're interested, but want to see it in person, I suggest you should, especially if you're not getting them from us. But I would be paying attention to the main things, electrical, pay attention to the ceilings. You can think, you know, the leaks, that sort of stuff. So that's the whole Next one, two bedroom, two bath. A lot of cleanup on this one. As you can see, I mean, just bags of trash, just period. Asking 2,500 for this one. Same numbers here. Am I going to go over these same ones? We're talking about the same party. These next few, few units you see, they're the same park in Macon, Macon, Georgia. Next one, uh, two bedroom, one bath, single wide, lot rent 300, 2,500 being asked for the property. Similar numbers there. If you don't see a free lot rent on here, that means that no, you don't get, you know, we can't do that with every park. We push hard for investors that, you know, we push the concept, of course, but a lot of times, you know, it just doesn't work out that way. So uh, this one is a very small unit inside the park. It's a one bedroom, one bath, a lot of junk inside the home, as you can see. 300 for the lot rent. The home is only being asked 1100 Rent the rates for this one being a one one. You're a little lower on that. So, and then resell the same. Next one. Two bedroom, two bath, same lot rent, 2,500 asked for this one, single wide, a lot of cleanup. You can see some of these pictures here and I can zoom in, but we'll send the recap. This is a nice one. If none of you get this one here today, I am keeping this one. Why? Why am I keeping this one? Perfect home. Three bed. Two bath, single wide. Okay. Very nice structure, solid metal, all metal. These are my favorite, by the way, metal, all metal. They're so easy to repair on the outside, even washing them, pressure washing them. They, they just look good. Uh, 300 lot rent. Home is being asked 3,500 for this one. Resale value, 20 to 22 K. You can probably get a little bit more than that. And again, if you're financing, then you can, plus you got interest. So passive income. Next one, moving along, two bedroom, one bath, 300 lot rent, 2,500 S four. As you can see here, it is a little newer vinyl, but solid home. This one we've had for a little bit. I don't know why people haven't gotten it. It definitely looks, it looks worse than it is. I've been inside the property. This floor is actually not soft. It's just stained up. And these older units here, early 80s, I mean, they're solid. Two bedroom, one bath. I'm asking $2,500 for this one. Some of y'all are showing up late to the call. Still letting y'all in, though. Next one. All right. This is a double wide, same park. I like this double wide too. I may decide if y'all don't. I'm going to keep this one too. Uh, home is being sold for 5000 So this one here, and a lot of times if you see some of these that are higher, you know, it could just be something, and I'll let y'all in on that. So the park owners, they understand my concept. They understand what we're trying to do. So they try to make it as friendly for us and, of course, uh, you know, affordable. But I know that this park owner had a lot of trouble evicting this uh, this tenant, a lot of back owed. You know, this was kind of one of those COVID things. So they got stuck with a lot of months of back. They're trying to make some money back is what they're trying to do. So the number's a little high, but the home does check out. Uh, here's some pictures here. Uh, rent the rent in the area, 750 plus. So, you know, you do, you do this home in this area, a rent the own. You can get every bit of 850 easy. Resale value, 23 to 26K. Again, you can probably get about 30K once you finance all the above. Jose, I got one quick question. You saying yes. it's eight fifty plus the eight fifty plus the lot rent? No, so so the way I structure mine. Um, who is this, by the way? My trees. Walter, yes, sir. Okay, so no, the way I do it is you always get the split in between. So if you see me tagging on like rent the rent in the area, because you have to, and we coach you this, but you have to keep that in mind. If you were to come in and say okay. seven fifty and then tack on the three hundred, you're setting somebody up for failure. You know, because gotcha. the market does not allow. So it would be in that mix. But you could tack on an extra 50 an extra $75. It just depends and, and keep it within the rental rate. Okay. Next one, uh, single wide, two bedroom, one bath, uh, located also in Macon, lot rent 300, asking 2100 Okay, a lot of cleanup. 
Albany. Got these two. Having a little kickback. This is actually an individual direct seller. And I, I, I like the deal. I like the area. Albany's definitely picked up a bit. But this is one of those direct sellers that is now kind of waving back and forth. Well, I might want to keep it, you know, so we, I don't like to deal with that kind of stuff there. You know, I, I like security. So waiting on this one here, but uh, it is available at this time. 4,500, a lot rent is only 200 here a month. Three bedroom, two bath. The rental rate in the area, about 700. Resale, 23K plus. And it's, so this is this isn't a park, but it's structured more like a subdivision. It's just you know one strip of land, and they just have mobile home after mobile home, single wise, double wise, that sort of thing. So kind of neat setup. I, I like those setups there. Same thing for this one. This is inside of a mobile home park. It's a three bedroom, two bath. I like this unit. It is big, as you can see. It is a big double wide, and the majority is just cleanup. I never understood what would trigger somebody to have a thousand trash bags inside the home, other than just maliciously. There's no way you live like this. I don't think. I hope not. Next one, a uh, single wide. Uh, this is a two bedroom, two bath, also located in the same park, 250. It does include trash in this park. That's a great question for you, y'all new that are on here so getting started inside uh, in mobile homes. If you ask a park manager about the law rent, always ask, what does that include? Does it include trash? Does it include water? That, that many times is an additional expense. So you have to keep in mind 3,500, 600 to 650, resale 17 and 19 K. A lot of cleanup on this one. This is a solid home. I like this one. Next one, uh, two bedroom, one bath, lot rent 250, 2,500 asking, six to 675. No lot rent until August. So there you go. Oh, this, okay. So this is another park that for, for you that have been investing here. This is about 20 minutes away from the park that we were investing. And I say that because the previous ones, these are bunches in. But these two new units that we got, I like them, especially this one here, solid. As you can see, this is put back together. That's how I like to see them, 2,800. But it is another park. This is 250, but does not include trash, but you do get a, uh, what is it, a month, two months worth of lot free rent. So there you go, good stuff. And I mean, it should not take you but a week to rehab this thing here. If it takes you longer, you need a different crew of contractors. This one we're waiting on until uh, June 17th. So in a couple of days, we'll, we'll hear a little bit more on that. And by that, I mean, they're evicting the tenants, not to say too much of that business. We'll be able to get in and get some inside pictures interior, but it does have to be moved. So this would be more for a park owner or somebody who has land. Maybe some of you who know somebody that needs one, let us know. We can connect, definitely give you a referral fee. Three bedroom, two bath this is an 81 destiny, 28 by 52, asking 4,500. Next one, similar to three bedroom, two bath, 83 Horton. I think Horton is the toughest mobile home made. They are just solid, period. Fleetwood is good, and eh, you know, nothing against them, but Hortons are solid. Double wide, must be moved as well, asking 4K. Thought I had more pictures on the knee. Okay, but there it is. Same thing, Cochrane, Cochrane, Georgia. This is heading east now from Macon. I guess if you're going towards Savannah, that's, uh, you know, that area. So three bedroom, two bath, 89 Horton. That's another Horton asking 2000. So this one showed a lot of potential. It can definitely have it. The outside is beautiful, as you can see. But when you get on the inside, and this is one of the other way around, where pictures don't do it justice in a bad way. The ceiling is caving in. I mean, that whole roof's got to go. Problem with that when you have a double wide and you have to move it. I mean, the roof is already in bad shape. And when you go to split that in between, you can kind of see what we're getting into. So just keep that in mind. If you're interested in this, it doesn't have to go far. Probably do something with it. Only 2K. So not bad for what it is. All right. Almost done. Here is a couple big ones that we have, some upcoming and then somewhere you can help us out. But uh, this is where I said that I am limited to information and I hate that I am because um, I wish I would have got a lot more information. But the park manager, she um, she got injured. She's in the hospital. She's fine. But, you know, limited to information at this point. We have, and I know these are 18 pictures here, all single wides, but there's a total of 20 single wides located in Riverdale, Georgia. A lot of you were asking for Griffin, McDonough, that sort of area, Hampton. Well, this is about as close as I can bring you to at this time. 20 mobile homes. Lot rent is 350. The majority of them are two bedroom, one bath. You have a few that are three bedroom, one bath, all uh, single wides. Homes are going to start as low as a thousand. They need a bit of work, a thousand dollars. All homes have been sitting for a bit and will need electrical permits inspections prior to power utility connection. 
So again, not a coaching call, but I want to let you in on that. Any mobile home, and this goes for real estate as well. If a home has been set for more than X amount of time, every city county has a rule where, hey, the home hasn't had power for three months, six months, nine months, a year, whatever. They're going to ask that you get a permit inspected on the home so they make sure that they can put power back into it. Okay, uh, I think somebody's uh, Instagram. Give me one minute. I'll answer your questions in a second. Um, that being said, just keep that in mind. You know, that's not very hard to do, but you are going to need an electrician to come in and basically certify that it is good to go. Uh, Georgia Power, I think is who it is there. You, you know, you're good enough to put power onto the home now. So just, you keep that in mind. Interior pictures will come. I will get these. If you're interested and don't want to wait on the pictures to come in, let me know. We got an investor who's very strong on these, so he has first dibs. But hey, I mean, at the end of the day, something, just send me a message if you're interested in this area. Greensboro, I will get pictures. We have three mobile homes. They're all single whites coming there. Greensboro, Georgia, Augusta, we have five. I hate showing pages like this. There's no pictures. There's no nothing. It's terrible. Okay, <laughs> but I'm, I'm letting you in. Augusta, we got five coming, okay? Empty pads. For those of you who are focusing a little bit more on moving mobile homes, maybe some of you who, who run into a bunch of them to say free or a thousand or whatever, but must be moved. I have areas where I could use them especially in Georgia right now, Gainesville, Dothan, or that's Alabama, Augusta, Mobile, Alabama, Tallahassee, Florida, Savannah, Georgia, Hinesville, Georgia, anything east, really, we can use any of them in the area. I mean, attack onto that, Swainsboro, Statesboro, I mean, just areas all around where there's parks, there's individual pieces, parcels of land where people are requesting highly, I need five, I need 10. I got to find them. So how can you help me? If you're running into a bunch of these deals, connect with me. Again, referral fee, I can walk you through a wholesale deal. We'll figure it out. Let's get the deal. Let's get the deal done. And then we both get paid. How about that? OK, other areas, other states, of course, that are coming and we're focusing on. I mean, we're growing. So Texas, for sure, will be in that state this year. I keep saying that I better get to that. Arizona, that's another one. Those two will start. I want to say maybe August is what I'm thinking, by the way. But we'll get into those states. And, you know, if you're in, if you're in Texas now, you have a hot market. You better be finding deals because they are everywhere. And buyers are, I mean, yes, that, that's a hot area. Um, Newport, Tennessee, I won't go through all these. But just, again, a lot of these are more so filling in pads. You have 10 here, 5 here, 15 here, 12 here. I mean, just look at the areas and other states that are in high demand. We're not going to get to Ohio anytime soon. Oklahoma is not going to happen. So, you know, just keep in mind. But And then upcoming deals, of course, uh, as always, we're still waiting on some. Why do you keep waiting, Jay? We keep hearing about that. I am waiting on park owners to get their act together. A lot of these have documents they have not cleared. Some of these homes have liens. They say, well, go ahead and present them. I am not going to present a home that has liens on them. That's not happening. So until you clear clear that up, you know, we're not going to add it. But that are coming, Swainsboro, Georgia, Humboldt, Tennessee, Millersville, Georgia. We got a lot. I mean, I, I'm waiting for this one here. I want some for myself, but we have a lot of units here. Augusta. Like I said, it's already coming. We'll tack on. We'll have those pictures probably about tomorrow. Um, if I get them before I send the recap or post it, they'll be on there. Any questions? Anybody has, and I do have some comments here. I'll go over. You have a question. The one in Riverdale, is that a uh, package deal or can you do a one-off? You can do as many as you want. And you don't have to be in parks, by the way. If you want one from Macon, one from Albany, one from Riverdale, that's plenty fine. Just let me know what you want, and we can put them on a package for you. Where is Riverdale? There it is. Yeah. So you can say 219, 325, and 201. Got them. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. Let me go through these questions. Uh, ben, yes, sir. I will add that. Ben, if you don't mind, send that to jay at garciamhu.com so we can add you immediately. Same for Ernest. Send me that email. Uh, can you give me an idea where I can find calculator to do the financing via owner? I have someone who wants to who wants to buy from me. Thanks. Do you know? Can you give me an idea where I can find a calculator to do financing via the owner? Okay. Uh, Tashia. I hope I said that right. Uh, tell me your question right there, if you don't mind. The top section. And South Carolina's coming, by the way. South Carolina, Spartanburg. Um, okay, Spartanburg, hey, I'm, we, sorry. I'm sorry. I just got on. Sorry, I had the mute on. Hey, but, um, and, and thank you for doing this. I, I want to, if you can, give me some information about your class, too, because I just happened to get on, find you. But um, I have a mobile home that I just bought, 
um, and I have a someone who wants to buy it from me, they want to do for sale, I mean, rent to own, but I just want to make sure, you know, I was thinking about the financing part. I don't even know how to even calculate the financing for that, you know, um, if they buy it from me um, that way, like owner financing, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Owner finance. I mean, you can do a note, rent the own. Um, definitely, I can help you. That would take a coaching call. We have the okay. agreements as well that we use. I always tell people I'm not an attorney. I cannot give you legal advice, but anything you do get is educational. Okay. Um, well, structure on there. I mean, it's pretty simple. It depends on what you're trying to sell it for. And then there's uh -huh. a down payment that you would take no different than if it was a vehicle, a boat, a motorcycle, whatever you take a down payment and then you finance okay. the remaining times however many months, years, and then tack on whatever interest you're going to do and go from there so but yeah reach okay. out to me jay at garcia mhu.com uh send me some of those questions and we can connect okay i appreciate that all right let's see instagram oh i guess i died on instagram yeah instagram kicked me out okay all right anybody else have any questions anybody have any deals to present Somebody has sent me a message earlier in the week saying they may have a double line. I don't recall who it was, but. Uh, Shervin, I hope I said that right. Shervin, can you buy homes with self-directed IRAs? Yes. That's a beautiful oh, wow. question, by the way. You can buy them with self-directed IRAs. And I know they're, again, I'm not an attorney legal advice. This is for educational purposes only. But yes, that is a very good question. That is borrowing from yourself and being able to pay yourself even more. So is it my understanding? I think there's a cutoff X amount of money that you can deposit into your self-directed IRA every year. However, if you invest from it, hence, you know, you borrow against it. And then that one investment starts collecting money. You can go as far as however much you, you want. So borrow from yourself. Yes. Hmm. Questions? Jose. Yeah, I got yes. a question. So if we're interested, we just uh, email you or I mean, how does that work? Yeah, so here in a few minutes, uh, and it'll probably be in the morning or late tonight, I would do a recap. If you go to, if you're not already following my page on Let's Do Deals group page on Facebook, make sure you add that because we'll put uh, my deals, anybody's deals, nobody presented else, but I would have put it on there and I will also tack on this recording so you're able to go there. But all you who I have y'all's email, I will also send this spreadsheet so you'll be able to look at it from your own comfort, your computer, your, your home. Send me anything, anything. Just let me know lot uh, Riverdale, lot 219. I, I know you can't see my screen anymore. Or say the Forsyth mobile home that needs to be moved. I know what you're talking about. And we can talk. Um, I have one question. Like, hey. if, if, hello? Yes. Okay, sorry about that. So um, the, the ones that you presented tonight, if we are interested in buying one, right? Do you do you know, like, is there a handyman that, you know, in that area, since we're not familiar with that area that you all use? Um, or would, would, you, would we just have to, you know, find our home, I guess? Y'all are giving me an idea because that is the number one question. And it should be, that's a very good question, but it's like, is there any handyman or contractors in the area? I'm gonna start supplying some of these deals and say, and say on there, and it comes with two options of handyman or one <laughs> handyman, <laughs> we're gonna do that. So yes, to answer your question, if you're talking about Riverdale, here's the yeah. thing about mobile home parks. Mobile home parks, especially if you start getting into parks that are about a hundred pads and plus, there is always a plumber that lives there, always an electrician that lives there. You can put okay. a whole crew together if you want. But, okay. but we do know of a contractor that lives in the park that, yes, he would be happy to assist. Okay, great, great, great. Cool, cool. And of course, if you take on our coaching and we walk you step by step, you know, hold your hand the way I call it, you know, we'll, we'll hire some contractors and anything you need. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm going to sign up for your class now so I can have you. Yeah, don't forget, y'all, that this Saturday at 10 a.m. in Central Georgia, um, we will be holding the shadow event. The shadow event is where I take you inside of mobile homes and I show you step by step. This is what I would change. This is what we fix. This is what you need to look out for. Uh, basically dissecting a mobile home. The more you do it, the better you get at it. But you have to know what you're looking at. You have to know what prices are, ideas of where to get material, handyman, contractors, managers. What do you say to people? If you talk to a direct seller, not a part manager, how's that conversation? All these things we teach you on Saturday morning. So any of you, if you're interested in that, Saturday at 10 a.m., we will go live in Macon, Georgia. 
Tisha, I hope I said that right. Email me that uh, email, please, at j at Garcia, M uh, H U, just so I have that email. Okay. Let me get something to write, right. I'm sorry. I'm going to post my email here for all y'all to see. That was my website there, and then that's my email, email underneath that. Uh, starting next week, as early as next week, um, Clubhouse. I'm going to start a new channel, Clubhouse. We will go live on that as well. That's for every call we have. And then uh, we're going to start tacking on Facebook. So that'll go live as well. So I'm trying to make this accessible as easy as I can. And, of course, we record every one of these calls. So if you do miss it for whatever reason, I know a lot happens. Go to our YouTube, hit subscribe, follow, and you will get notifications. Every one of these calls get posted on there. So you're always able to catch the recap also. Uh, no, Saturday at 10 a.m. is going to be live. It's a live event that's going to be held in Macon, Georgia. So we will be in person, in person. Last month, uh, we had close to 40 people. For those of you that know mobile homes, and I know most of you here do, Imagine trying to walk 40 people in a mobile home. We're testing the floors for sure. And they did all right. So <laughs> it's a little smaller crew this this month. But yeah, good event. That was for Mother's Day. And then I forgot this was Father's Day weekend. So we'll have a good event down there at 10 a.m. All right, guys, we're hitting the 7.30 uh, mark now. Um, don't forget the Sunday at 8 p.m. We hold a free coaching call this weekend coming up. We'll advertise for tomorrow. And we're going to have a wholesaler slash somebody who dedicates himself to nothing but moving them. Supply Mobile Home Parks. He's going to be able to share a lot of tips for y'all. Looking for all these must be moved. How do you move them? What do you look for? He can talk on all the above. So that's going to be a good call. Good friend of mine, by the way, also. Do you have the dates on your website? Um, so the website, GarciaMobileHomeUniversity.com. We have a professional team that is now working on that. And yes, we hope that they make it beautiful. If you go to it, it's basic enough. It gets the job done is what I say. But they're going to be updating everything from uh, live events coming to coachings to anything we have. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But for now, just anything you need to know, email me, j at GarciaMHU.com. I'm an open book on this, so we get it all out there for you all. All right, I think that does it for now. Email me if you're interested in any of these deals. And Sunday, we look forward to seeing you on there. All right, y'all have a good night.